Hello and welcome. If you're searching for a stunning villa just minutes away from the vibrant town centre of Coimbra, you're in the right place. Picture yourself living in Portugal's third largest city, renowned for its rich history, stunning architecture and lively atmosphere. Coimbra is situated on the banks of the beautiful River Mondego, offering a unique blend of old world charm and modern amenities. The city is home to one of the world's oldest universities, the University of Coimbra, which boasts breathtaking views and magnificent buildings. Imagine a leisurely nine-minute bicycle ride from your villa to the heart of Coimbra, where you can explore its bustling streets, historic landmarks and delightful cafes. Beyond the city's borders, you're conveniently located close to the main highway linking Lisbon and Porto, making weekend getaways to Portugal's largest cities very easy. Coimbra is also well linked by rail and high-speed rail links are on their way. Plus the seaside is with an easy reach, offering you the perfect escape for a day of sun and relaxation. Witness the stunning vistas, the iconic university and the picturesque River Mondego. Your dream home in this enchanting city awaits. We always have new properties coming to the market. Subscribe to our channel now to stay updated. Check out our Facebook page for even more properties. We now offer a buyer's agent service to find any property in Portugal. Email us your detailed requirements and we'll find it for you at no cost. If you have a house to sell, our YouTube and social media presence can boost your chances. Contact us now, sales at ppproperty.com. Now a brief look around before we start the tour. Enjoy the music. Good afternoon, Sarah. Good and here we are, pretty much in the centre of Coimbra. Well, we're actually a three-minute drive from the centre of Coimbra. You can actually see the centre of Coimbra behind Sarah there. And nine minutes on a bicycle, and you would be right in the centre. And we have this wonderful villa just outside. In fact, should I just go and stand in front of the number? Yeah, go and stand in front of that. So here we go. And uh, I think we should go and have a look around the outside and yeah, we'll get go around into the garden. Yeah, you can see it's, it's bordered where we've got this privacy here because of the plants. And we're high up and it's just, it's really, really nice. Let's go in. Yeah. It's got this lovely shady area out of the front. I'm going to, uh, should we just take a look down there? We can. I think now the owner of this property 
she she shows dogs, so there are kennels in different parts, and I've got a feeling. Yes. No, yeah, this is the kennel. To the kennel. This is the kennel area. She's very nicely put the the dogs into um, into the house just for this part of the video, yeah. because of the uh, obvious noise the dogs tend tend to make. A uh, lovely big kennel area. Mm. He's actually had a one of them is a prize winning dog here in Portugal and has been shown at Crufts in England. So, right. which is really cool. What I was going to say was if um, obviously if you don't want the kennels, then you just take the fencing down and the garden goes all the yeah, way around it, the house. Yeah, open it up. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. So, oh. Uh, here's Lisa. She couldn't, she couldn't, she couldn't stop herself, could she? Could, really. She couldn't keep out of it, no. <laughs> In fact, every, every, everybody's turned up. Meet our colleagues, yes. So, you know, here we've got so, the, the front of the house, which opens out onto the living room. So, the, where am I? The living room Rambling. opens up out onto here. Oh. Um, here's the owner. I'll be scurrying around. <laughs> Lisa's, Lisa's actually the listing agent for this property. So say hi, Lisa. Hello. And, and Alv is here doing some, some, some other video and photography work. Very so we're all here together. Yes. We're going to have it live soon. Bye. Right. Am I, am I back on? <laughs> you, 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 you were never off, my love. So we, I was, all I was going to say was we've got three sets of double doors here, it's very light inside the house. The front door is here, but we're going to just show you the outside first. This leads into an L-shape lounge, lounge, no, dining room, lounge, no, study, lounge, <laughs> fireplace, <laughs> dining room. Mind. Okay, so there's loads of light. It's very, very nice. Yeah, and it's well worth seeing. It is absolutely gorgeous. And it comes around, and there's the double windows, which are for the dining room as well. So from every aspect of the property, you've got light coming in. And again, even from the property next door, the trees have been built up. Well, they haven't been built up at all. They've grown. Sorry, trees. Yeah, I think so you've got sliding, uh, sliding gate access here, electronic gate access. Yep. So, off-street parking. Nice Calzada driveway. Coming down to the area at the bottom here where they've got a huge garage, but actually, I mean, the car isn't in the garage. Um, no, they've kept the car parked outside, but there is a... Two cars parked outside, actually. Yeah. But obviously, if you wanted to put them in the garage, which is what it's for, then this would be a big courtyard area. Yeah. But what we do have above, if Paul just looked up for a second, A, he'd get in the beautiful flowers. Yeah, and they are beautiful. Yeah. There's a large terrace there, which comes out from the kitchen. Yeah, fabulous. And so that's fabulous. where you'd probably sit. But this area could be easily be turned into more of a garden area if you wished it to be. Yeah. Um, let's see what we've got view-wise. Yeah, we've just got views over the city. I mean, it's worth coming and having a look. Nice houses around, family homes, obviously, Coimbra. Yeah, obviously it's an yeah. urban area, so there's plenty of houses about, but there's also yeah, some view. really lovely far-reaching views of countryside, isn't there? Mm, there is indeed, yes. So, and then oh, here, if, if you just come and look up, you can see where it interlinks. Yeah, we can, we can go around here, you know. So this is where the dogs spend quite a bit of their time. And if we go around here... Oh, I see, I didn't realise, I was just... Yeah, that was the whole point, that's why, that's why I asked the... Happens. That's why I have, yeah. Aha! Yeah, well, nice idea. Okay. And it does open, which is cool. Okay, right. Okay, so we've we've, we've got land as well. So you have got garden. Oh, it's got a lovely garden. And we've got fruit trees, old fruit trees. Yeah, well established fruit trees. 
and irrigation's in. I guess I'm standing on your septic tanks and there's a strawberry doing very well next to it. This is kiwi. Yeah. So when once you get them going, they're amazing. So these are all fruits. I'm going to kind of scurry through so I can come back yeah, go with on. the light behind go me. On. And the irrigation's in, hence the fact that everything's growing very well. I've got peach, I think, in front of me. Kiwi's behind me. Jokers to the left. Yeah. Now, uh, here's the pumping tanks oh, for, I imagine, for a uh, borehole, but I'll have to check that. Not entirely sure that's the truth. I've got a fig and a persimmons. What else can I spot? Sarah's doing her best to stay out of range of the microphone. Well, I'm sorry, I didn't know whether you wanted me to... Hello. <laughs> but yeah, it's just a lovely garden, isn't it? Yeah, I'm trying to get all the different fruits. Notoriously bad day. Oh, these, these. So that's nectarine, isn't it? Or I'll come underneath. Yeah, people, people actually live here, though, so you can't steal them. Yeah, they're not ripe, darling. Uh, um, yeah, these okay. are peach, and then you've got fig, and you've got a persimmons or a shaman's fruit. That's yeah. a citrus. Well, the, the band is really obvious. It's that great big fence. Yeah. So there we go. So this is you've you've actually got. If you want a vegetable garden, you just plant in between these trees. Oh yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, you could permaculture this. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Okay, that's good. That's a bonus. I didn't realise the property had. Yeah. And it's, it's I'll have to double check the square metres, I must admit, but if you just look up there, it's, it's huge. I mean, there's three levels of house that are all used. Now... Uh, we're stuck in the kennels. I wonder if we could go to go back round the front and through the front door. So I just go and see. No, I mean, should we do Sarah? Mm. I think we should perhaps do the underneath first. Do the. Do you? Yes, I do. Okay. Um, a, it just flows better because we're here. Yeah. Well, we'll have to. S okay. And you know I like to say the best till last. Yes, but we'll have to go through the front door to get there. Do we? Yes, at some point, because it's beautiful. Oh, oh yeah, well, no, it is. Yeah, that, is, that, is that is true. That is true. It is beautiful. But I really like this uh, very large undercover area. Mm -hmm. Right, so I think what we'll do, we'll do downstairs, as Paul says, and then yeah. we'll go round and go through the front door so you get the impact of walking into the beautiful villa. Okay, let me just turn my light on. So, we here we have a huge, well, garage, but obviously they don't use it as a garage, do they? They don't, I don't doesn't no. look like they, oh, they, bless them, they're so quiet. They are so quiet. I, I didn't realise you were in here, my love. <laughs> They're obviously ready to go off to a show. Right, and we've got loads and loads of storage. So here you've got your machine room with everything in it. And we'll in the in the description we'll just explain about the heating system. There's heating throughout. And I actually love what they've done with all this storage area. Because this especially, is actually very attractive. Yeah, but it's a very economical room. way of making yeah. really good shelving. So this is basically your larder, it's cool in here. It's very cool in here. Yeah, it's But cool. I mean, hence, hence the fact that you use it for storing wine. Yeah. So let's go to the next preserves. room, which There's is. Lots of preserves. Manda porta fechada. Yeah, this could be cool, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So, shall we do that? Yeah, we shall. I mean, keep the door closed, by the way. So. If you can see in front of you, we're going to go right because this is the area that's not really a house. So here we've got endless storage again. It's a utility room as well, though. It's a utility room with nooks on it. It's just like enormous. Yeah. All, this, all of this is, is... Storage stuff, yeah. Yeah, just... Yeah, we don't want to, you know, get into people's private stuff, but yeah, all of that basically... And then it comes down storage. here... Oh, the light's not on, but I don't think you even need to go. You put the same down this side, the storage all along the left-hand side. 
and then the kennels at the bottom. I don't know whether the big dogs are in there and they're going to start. They're beautiful. They I don't know they, well, actually, I mean, famous dogs, they might want to be filmed. No, the dogs are there. But... Oh, no. Hello. Oh, oh yeah. The dogs are there. Beautiful. Do you want to just have a look at the cat? Oh, no. Show them the cat earlier. Absolutely beautiful cat, but I don't want to freak it out. So there we go. <laughs> right, get out of the area. Get out of the area. Let's run away. Yeah. So, as so, this is what we could call. This is the. This is obviously this is the show's dog. So you've got grooming table. So this is the animal utility area, and then. From here, very, obviously a very sporty lot. Look at all these no. bicycles. I'm going to shut that. Bicycles, treadmills. They've got. Uh, yeah, that's what we should have, isn't it? I see yeah. a photo of it just to remind we, you. We, we have actually got them. We just don't use them. Though. Yeah, but they're not on the wall, are they? Yeah. Right. So I think we should probably. Do you want to walk round to the front door? Yeah, we haven't got a garage. Just find it But yes, I will I walk want. around to the front door, and then we shall have a look at uh, what is inside the main house. I mean, this really is a lovely, lovely garden area. Considering you're so close to the city centre, it's a delight. Because you don't get that very often. Right, OK. Then. I'm going to sneak it in. Oh, sorry, I'll just be like, I'm not listening. You can hear me. I'm trying Cameron to put the lights switched. Cameron's got far more apartments than it has houses. And uh, so I was talking to myself to feel as I'm watching. I, I and, and no one will be able to hear you. Yeah. So I've been I've been sneaking in information you don't like. Yeah, and where the light switch is. <laughs> um, so yeah, again, you've done that. Undercover bit. area. We have kind of under that. I was just waiting for you. Right, my love. So let's do it this way around. Okay. I'll pop okay. here, and then that's not going to open. Oh, it is going to open. Look at that. Magic. When I, <laughs> when I tried to open it, it didn't open. Why don't you come in? Oh, thank you very much. Uh, which way do you want me to go? I mean, first of all, obviously, the entrance hall. Lovely entrance. Which is, is really nice. I think we should come in here. Yeah, that's good. In there. Of course, but they're all running done. away. I can see it. We, we they're all turning the lights off. No, I know. Yeah, now I'm going to go around turning the lights off. Am I the turning the lights on or off? <laughs> so I was right. It was a lounge and a lounge. Yeah. I just got confused myself with two lounges. But we've got two lounge areas. Yeah. But it's absolutely beautiful. There's a, there's a horsey thing there. Oh. Is that just for holding a saddle or does it move or does it do something? I don't, is it, do you want to try it out? No. No, best not. Let's just focus on the house, shall yes. we? Okay. Yeah, right. So, we've got lovely wide space, radiators throughout. So, here you have the wood burner. Oh, actually, it's not wood burner, it's an open fireplace. An open fireplace, yeah. As you said, these are the three sets of curtains and windows, plenty of light coming in. And you come through here. Just one moment, please. I just want to get full. Yeah, oh, sorry. I tend to rush. I want to get a full scope oh, also. have got balls too. Love the lounge. And as Sarah said earlier, it is an L shaped lounge, and then the dining room uh, comes off that lounge. And uh, that, absolutely, lo is, can we get those lights on? I can, yes, yeah, sir. I was just looking at the pottery. Because I think they're really, really nice. They are. It can be. I don't know that they actually helped with my photography earlier, but no. Well, but they're they're really funky. They're lovely. They, yeah, they're really cool, aren't they? And again, plenty of light. Fly screen on the windows there. Yeah. Large table. So that, that's that's a table for eight that easily could you could squeeze twelve around that if you wanted. Yeah. Um, we definitely could. And then it. <laughs> what was that? I said we would definitely get twelve around. <laughs> there, so we, like we go from here to the kitchen. Tables. A good size kitchen. Yeah, really good size kitchen. Loads of storage. Actually, she really specialises in storage. Just on the corner, we've got yeah, right. cupboards. Yeah, space for a nice big American fridge. Okay, and 
the view, I guess, the view from the kitchen sink. Is probably... Yeah, plenty of, plenty of work surface, which is always really good. Uh, loads of storage, extractor, electric hob. So is that, is that gas oven or an electric oven? No, that's, well, I'd say it's, oh, it's a posh one. It's a very, that is I've, I've never had an oven before, do you? No, no, really neither. That's the first for me. I'll just stand here playing with this one for a while. <laughs> Um, I'm going to say it's all electric, darling. Yeah, I'd say it's all electric. Yeah. Um, we've got tons of storage, is what we've got. Yeah. And lots of work surface, island in the middle, and perfectly, perfectly practical, lovely, nice to use kitchen with the view out the window. Did you get the view out the window? I didn't get the view out the window. Um, and it's a little bit tricky. Well, no, it's not. It's, it's a tiny bit tricky, Sarah. So I'm going to do that. I quite like getting frames. It is a really good view out of the window. The fly screen kind of obscures it a little bit with the camera, but without the camera, Hang on a minute. it's just a lovely view. Yes, okay, so you're just taking in there those cupboards. Right, so from here, so we've done a circle. We have done a circle. We've done a circle. So could you do that again? Yeah. Circle, there we go, circle, circle, circle. But we've got a really nice bathroom, which in my photographs, I'm going to get in the bathroom. It all went gold. Oh, I, don't. I don't know why, because it's not gold at all. I love the tiles. They're really nice. Sort of they are groovy. They're like polished concrete. I apologise for us in this, but there's absolutely no avoiding it. Yeah, that, have that. That's really spangly, isn't it? <laughs> I love that. So it's, it's the tiles that give that effect. No, it went, I don't know what the face is going to turn out. And they're it really cool. All went gold. Is it gold in the camera as well? I'm not sure. So then we come into, so yes, another hallway. Now, I think now we need to mention, so we've got three stories of property yeah. with a very, very fantastic swooping green and gold banister and carpet effect. And the mirror was left by the previous owners to complement it as well. Yeah, that's funky, aren't they? Yeah. So, before we go up there, we're going to go into what is the bedroom. So, we're back at the start. Front door. So, that's all the living area, yeah. lounge, kitchen, dining room. Oh, uh, yeah. You confused? Oh, yeah. Yeah. No. Okay. yeah, well, it was, but I'm not there. Okay. And then here, we have three bedrooms. So, this is the master on suite. I'm going to go around turning lights on. So we've been just coming round, back round to the main door here. What I'd like to point out is the floors. They're really, really nice. And the tiles here, I'm not meant to say nice, but we have marble effect and they've got the checker in them. No, they're cool. But for the lounge, we forgot to mention that the lounge has hardwood flooring throughout. So that's the lounge and the dining area. Okay, let's just have a poke back into the lounge. Yeah, hardwood flooring. Okay. Really and nice. a paler colour. And then as we come into the bedrooms here, so the house is divided into kitchen, lounge, dining, bathroom, and stairwell there. Yeah. Into here we come into the bedrooms. And here we've got a very really nice, stop saying nice, we've got a lovely <laughs> hardwood Glorious flooring. hardwood flooring that's a little bit dark. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying to think whether it's mahogany, I'm trying to think about the colours. Yeah. Okay. So, would you like to go into the ensuite suite oh, first? It's cherry, isn't it? Um, yeah. Okay. And we have the bathroom here on the left. Yeah, this bathroom. With it. Uh, full, size, full size bath. Double wash. You know, B day, um, toilet. Um, sliding screen so that you can use it as a shower. Jack and Jill uh, wash basins. <laughs> Jack and Jill. Well, is that not what they're called? You can call them what you want. Yes. <laughs> Thanks, darling. She's nice to me then. I just say. And there we go. This is really nice. The Jack and Jill bathroom is when you can get through it through two doors. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay. But, you oh. know, you've just named okay, the double, wash du basin. Double wash basin. Yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, here we go. This, this bedroom um, might actually look smaller than it is because this... No, it's a really good size. It's a really big size, but the, but, but the beds are rather tall. 
It's four meters wide easily, full of cupboards. Yeah, absolutely huge uh, built-in wardrobes, tons of built-in wardrobes. And just behind Sarah, she's going to open the door for me now. Um, she's going to... Oh, gonna... what? This is what you... Yeah. Oh, so we've got cupboards me. behind them. Exactly. And there's cupboards, um, space there as well. So, I mean, this house is just full of storage, isn't it? It is. And so here... Oh, we've just done that. That's why that's like that. There we go. So, sorry, I'm right. You keep yeah. going. Turn it lights off. Keep going. You've got two bedrooms. Right, so into this bathroom here now, is it? Okay, yeah. yeah. So this is what we call the family bathroom. The family bathroom. For the two bedrooms here. Really There's nice. There's a shower in there. Single wash basin. We'll call him Fred, shall we? Yeah, we'll just call that Fred, yeah. Um, again, it's got the toilet, the bean bay. It's got the sliding uh, shower tray. But even though it's a full-size bath, you can take a shower. The, the tiles, the embossed tiles are nice with the detail. I actually didn't spot those. They're actually really nice, aren't Did you? Did you not? No. No, I didn't spot them, no. Okay. Well, I spotted them now. I think well, we need to spotted. come out into these two bedrooms here. So these are essentially identical. And they lead out onto the terrace. Right. Um, yes, the light is smaller, but still perfectly adequate double yeah. bedrooms, yeah. I don't think we should. Oh, gosh, it's hot. Uh, Actually, yeah, I think you should probably pop out here. I'm going to. I'm just getting the full thing. It's got enough room for a nice office and a desk. And here we are. Yeah, out onto the sun and terrace, which has again those fabulous views. All right, and look, a detail worth mentioning. Go on, mention the details, Alan. Well, I wonder whether it is the fact that all of the um, the windows they've all got sun oh, blinds that come cool. out because, of course, at some point it's going to get hot, isn't it? Yeah. So that's, that's an extra... So you can wind out the blinds, yeah. You don't have to shut your shutters and get rid of your view and your light. You put your blinds down. That's, that's a really good idea. Yeah. Should we go in to the other bedroom through there, or...? Why, is the door open? Yeah, I think it is. I mean, it's got a fly net on it, doesn't it's it? It's got a fly net, so we won't do that. We'll go in back in through we might here. Might get in a bit of a pickle, mightn't we? We might, we, we, yeah. Getting into pickles is not what we do. No, never, never let it be said. Um, we get into pickles. So here we are in the opposite bedroom. Yeah, yeah. I, I think it is identical in size, isn't it's it? Got the three, the storage there. And down there, yeah. Yeah. So okay. Again, this goes out onto the sun terrace, as we yeah. just alluded to. Again, absolutely tons of storage space. Yeah. And although it's not a full double, there is plenty of room. Yeah, four to beds, but you could easily have a double. Yeah, you could easily, easily, easily have a double. Got a desk space, storage. Yeah. So, have we? This house is enormous. We have covered this. We've covered two floors. Okay, so now, are oh, you going to have to get a shot of down the hallway? Although we've been downstairs and we're not going back down. Yeah. I've decided. But the stairs are gorgeous. If you do one of those, you have to do that from the upstairs. Yeah. So that leads down to the garage and the kennels and obviously outside. You've done that, haven't we, really? We've done that. We started this. So yeah. We're going to go okay. up here. I'm walking to the end of my life. the gold banister is rather fabulous. I think they're fabulous. Yeah, they're great. Yeah. They're up here. You know what? So it's, it's one of those things I would never probably choose. But when you see it, you would, you'd love bling. I, 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 I do. Yeah, 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 she's right. She wouldn't choose her, but <laughs> she just wouldn't let me have it. Right, I'm just turning the lights on. So if you just want to have a spin around, I found the light switch. So up here, we have, there's, there's beds in here. It's basically a huge multi-use space. We've yeah, I mean, it's basically an attic for people to put stuff in. But, um... Yeah. But we've got well, it's a fantastic two beds. Yeah. Gosh, we've got loads of beds. I mean, the house can sleep about 20. <laughs> There's obviously it's... more storage in the eaves behind these walls. Yeah. And this is used as an office. You've got a table here. 
more storage here, and I get another sunbed. Shit random. There we go. Huge space. Should we go outside again somewhere quick, very quickly? So we can do a summary. To go where, sorry? Should we go outside somewhere quickly yeah. to do a summary? And I think we should get that. Let me just turn the lights off. I want you to get that hallway. Yeah, I, I love it. Yeah, I really need you to do it now. Okay, well, hang on, hang on. Just give me a second while I just went around doing that. <laughs> you can come back and do that. Oh, I'll put them on. Sarah. Right, yes, yeah, so you do feel very elegant. Well, I feel like I should have a. Let me shut the door. I, I should have a posh frock on. You should have. While it's laying, gliding down the straw stairwell. Yeah. And um, are we just going to keep going then? Just out onto the sun terrace or wherever. Because we've done everything. Yes, so shall we go out? Let's go out onto the sun terrace and do a quick sun. Ah, OK, yeah, I've got lost because the house is so big. It's out here. No, it's not. Oh, God. It's blue. It is, <laughs> it is, it is. I've got it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's always good to have another look through the house. OK. Okay, so here we are. We've yep. done all of that just so Sarah can say goodbye, really. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, in summary, obviously, marvellous family home. Four bedrooms, four baths, but in the attic, there's another double, another single. Another ton of room, yeah. It's just tons of room here. It's very, very nicely spaced out. And it's, it's very quiet. I know if you go to the road, there's going to be cars coming out, but it's very quiet. You don't really very, notice it, do you? Very close to Coimbra. I mean, it's like literally Super here. Super close, yeah. So this you're is kind a of very, in Coimbra, really, aren't yeah. you? It's really nice to do, to do this property, actually. Um, yeah, it's a pleasure. It's, um, yeah, it makes a change. We, do, we were on a stone one last week, so it's, um, yeah, it's very good. So I am meant to be winding up and stop waffling at this point. So thank you very much for watching, and please do like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Ciao. Bye-bye.